like I said, it came from a really good place and good intentions in the beginning. And then it got to a place where I didn't trust myself. And I, it led to binging, it led to overeating, it led to purging, it led to some places that I just never anticipated myself being into. I tried everything. And so in the end, you know, really like throwing my hands up and being able to ask for help was one of the hardest things and one of the best things I've ever done. I feel like I am so different than when I started. I feel so much more at peace. I feel at ease. I feel confident. I would do it 10 times over again and I would pay 10 times the money. Before I joined Reconnect Academy, I was struggling for a while. So it'd been years with my, um, my body image, um, struggles with food and, and, um, and honestly, I had tried so many different ways to solve that struggle. And my struggle was more like I, I couldn't ever figure out exactly uh, what was good for me to eat, what was not good. Um, I had been training as an elite athlete for many years. And so at that point, it became very important for me to put proper nutrition and fuel into my body. So it stemmed from a place of a really good place of truly wanting to be the healthiest and the most nutritious uh, person and athlete that I could be. Um, but it spiraled into something that I didn't anticipate. And it spiraled into something that became really heavy and it felt like a burden. And it felt just like a really dark place and a struggle. I felt very isolated. I felt very alone. I felt like I didn't have willpower. I knew I was a strong person, but when it came to food and my food choices, um, things were just not good. I was not in a good place. Um, it, it made me want to isolate from other people when it came to eating with other people, because a, I was worried about overeating or maybe choosing foods that weren't on my safe list or my healthy list. And then I also didn't want them to judge me for only wanting to eat healthy foods that were anti-inflammatory and that would help my sport. Um, so it just became a struggle. And that led to a constant um, obsession, I guess, or constantly having food thoughts on my mind of um, worry. And I felt anxious about it. And it created some distance between my husband and I, my kids and I. Like I said, it came from a really good place and good intentions in the beginning. And then it got to a place where I didn't trust myself and I, it led to binging. It led to overeating. It led to purging. It led to some places that I just never anticipated myself being into before we connect Academy. I, I tried so many things. And in the beginning I thought, well, if I could just find the right eating plan that I could actually stick to. So I would try this and it would maybe work, but it wouldn't, solve it because I would either sabotage or I would end up binging or I wouldn't be able to follow it or it was too restrictive or there were so many reasons and so many cycles of like, I would feel like, oh, I got this. And then like, I don't have this. And so I just, I began to feel powerless and it really did filter into other aspects of my life where I started kind of questioning myself in other areas. And I just didn't allow myself to really be, you know, successful, confident. Like I knew I had been at one point. I wish I could explain how I feel and the difference I feel right now. <laughs> I feel like I am so different than when I started. I feel so much more at peace. I feel at ease. I feel confident. It's not like I found this magic meal plan that I will stick to my whole life but I found freedom because I found that those answers will come and they're going to come from within me. Tara didn't give me the answers, but Tara helped me find my own. And she did that with all of us. I mean, just like the, the Academy is called reconnect Academy. That's, that's what it did. And I feel like I've really reconnected with myself. I feel like I'm being more and more true to myself and that feels good. I loved being a part of a community of women. Number one, feeling that I'm not alone, that these feelings that I'm having, that I don't need to isolate myself, that I can share this and that the more I share and bring this to light, the more freedom I feel. The struggle 
it's gotten less and less and less. And that voice in my head has gotten more and more muted. And I saw that in the other women. And over the course of the weeks when we would meet, you could see the brightness in their eyes. I just wanted that freedom that I felt like she personified. And on my own, I hadn't been able to find it. And I had dang well tried to. I feel like I struggled through, I tried everything. And so in the end, you know, really like throwing my hands up and being able to ask for help was one of the hardest things and one of the best things I've ever done. Because it was scary to start. I didn't want to spend the time. I just wanted to keep putting on the face that I'm okay, I'll figure it out. Like no one really needs to know or I don't want to take all the time to dive into what's going on with myself. I didn't want it to make it to be selfish, but I would do it 10 times over again and I would pay 10 times the money. And everything I had tried either on my own or with previous coaching or with previous even therapists, all good things, but it didn't ever get to the center. And Tara started there in the center and then we came out. And then I was able to understand why those things were out of balance for me and why that was such an issue for me. And then it just really fixes the root of the, of the struggle I was having. The tools I learned in Reconnect Academy are expansive and it just, it works because it's truly, it was, came from within and each person, each woman got to develop those skills in their own way. You have nothing to lose. Um, going through all of the weekly lessons, I just kept having the desire that I want every woman to do this. I don't care how deep your struggle is. Maybe it's a little struggle. Maybe it's like a pretty big struggle, or maybe you're really in a deep, dark place right now. Um, I, I want every woman to be able to experience just that sense of peace and comfort that I've been able to find through this. At first I was hesitant because of the money, the time, and I didn't want to be selfish. And um, all of those things, the money I would pay so much more for something like this. And the time, it wasn't that much time involved. It was doable, it was flexible. And the selfish part about this is, I was being selfish by not allowing myself to heal. I was being selfish by not being present with my family and with my friends and not being fully okay to go out and do the things that I wanted to do. And now I feel like I can actually give because I'm not constantly worried. I'm not constantly obsessing. I'm not constantly sabotaging my own self and finding cycles to either binge and purge or binge and over-exercise or all these things that took so much time and energy and so much of myself was absorbed here. And I finally feel like I can look outward now because I feel that burden has lifted.